Welcome everybody to a total new retro edition. First of all, let's gotta say that God damn that intro is nice. The new intro is jizz worthy, I say. I'd like to thank two people for that intro. Oh, by the way, I'm playing Chaos World, whatever the fuck this is. Those two people would be, the first one would be, what the fuck? Oh, I'm playing a Japanese game, okay, I guess, okay. I don't even know Japanese, so I'm just gonna go with my gut here. Hopefully, 10, 11, 12, yeah, sure. Hope this is good. Damn, fuck Japan. Anyways, I'd like to thank two people. The first person would be Zendar Productions. He's brand new to YouTube. He's the one that, what the shit is this? He's the one that gave me the new intro. He's pretty good at intros and he's starting out. He's pretty good at editing software and all that stuff. Check out his channel, I'll provide a link to you below. Second guy would be the guy who actually gave me the idea to call it Retro Edition. Since I play so many old school games that are from the 8-bit era, Nintendo. He's the one who gave me the Retro Edition idea. So basically, Retro Edition means... I'll just move around here for a second so you don't get bored. Retro Edition means anything from Nintendo era, Sega Genesis, uh, PlayStation. Anything before the really good shit. N64, basically from the 1980s, okay, 1970s to all the way to 2000s, I'll say. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. His name is Magnoblade. And he is a pretty cool guy too. Check out his channel, link to his channel provided below. So, what the fuck, Japan? What am I supposed to do here? If I knew how to speak fucking Japanese, I would know what's going on here. It's all foreign to me. But anyway, it's these type of games I said before. I fucking hate these games. Move out the way, you bitch. Go suki suki for five dollars, you bitch. Full Metal Jacket style. God damn it, fuck off. Suki suki for five dollars. It's all good. Hey, look. It's... Obelix from Asterix. What's he doing in Japan? I hope something's going down. I hope I'm not getting like a fucking prostate exam from this guy. Any Japanese person can ask me what the fuck is going on here. Can they describe what the fuck am I doing? Cause fuck Japan, this is bullshit. I don't know what I bought, but I hope it's good. Hope this is a whorehouse. I have green hair. I'm just going to go with random shit here. No, no soki soki for five dollars, no. Okay. Anyways, on to my very merry Japan adventures. Do I get to fight anybody in this? Do I, or do I? Do I? What the fuck, Japan? I don't even know what the shit I'm doing. Also, it's a total noob, so what else is new? Retro edition. Get back in your house, you fat shit. Oh, wait, that's your twin brother, isn't it? Can I go for a swim? No. Can I toss this bitch in the water? No. Soki soki for five dollars. Ah, okay. I guess I gotta go across the bridge along the way. Fighting some demons and shit. Wait, I went upstairs somewhere, I guess. I don't know. I get to sit on the throne. Oh, sweet. I'm finding ways to get into the place. 
I, I hope this is my house, because I'm probably walking into some person's house and trifling through his shit. Who does that? Just go into some guy's house and just look for shit. Here's the gay little midget. Hey, move! Um, yeah. Enjoy your butt fucking. Can you fucking move so I can trifle through this other guy's room? Wait, there's nothing here. Anyways, on to another merry adventure. Let's see. Oh, Japan, you and your crazy shit. To the dungeon of sex, maybe? Fuck off. Okay, since obviously don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I don't understand Japanese, I'm gonna say fuck this. But anyway, on to the next game. Have a good one, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Damn, and I grind till I get mine. So I keep it on the real like a fish line. Nah, I ain't saying I'm the greatest, but I'm blowing up. I think it's time that we face.